So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make money as an affiliate marketer using Pinterest. This is one of the most underrated platforms for affiliate marketing. I'm going to share six or seven different steps in this video, showing you exactly how to set this up, some of the best strategies, some of the best affiliate programs, and some other tips and tricks that you can use to make money on Pinterest. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. I think there's going to be a ton of value. I recommend taking out a pen, taking out a piece of paper, writing down some notes as we go through this video. And I can promise you there's going to be at least one or two gems in here that you're going to take and really use to help you make money on this platform. Just a couple things to note here. First of all, we don't have any courses to sell you. This is totally free information. You don't have to pay to learn how to do this. You can just do this for free. Trust me. Um, and it's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, we've been doing affiliate marketing for years, probably almost 10 years now. I've been doing affiliate marketing on various different platforms. It's kind of our bread and butter. I've done this for so long. And so I hope that there's some good info in here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this. And uh, let's, let's get started here. So first of all, I just want to briefly touch on why Pinterest. You know, there's a lot of different platforms. You can do affiliate marketing on Instagram. Instagram or on blogs, which I really do love still using blogs in 2024. Trust me, uh, you can make a lot of money that way. Okay. So the reason why Pinterest is a really tremendous opportunity this year is because it has 500 million monthly active users on the platform. Just for perspective here, that's more than everyone in the United States. And it's about one sixteenth of the world population uses Pinterest on a monthly basis. So that is a lot of people. And I feel like it doesn't get enough respect from marketers who just kind of overlook it and they focus on blogs or they focus on other platforms and they forget about Pinterest. There's really a lot of opportunity here. Okay. So with that many users, uh, which actually tend to be mostly female, I'll throw up a chart here, female versus male uh, users on the platform. It tends to heavily skew towards female. Um, we'll talk about a little bit more like some different niches potentially, but here's what we're covering in this video. All right. We're talking about finding a niche. What's the best topic to choose for making money on Pinterest as an affiliate marketer. Then I'm going to show you how to find products to promote on the platform. This could range from anything from books to, you know, apparel or other different types of items that you can do for affiliate marketing. I'll show you some of the best programs for that. Trust me, there's a lot of good info in there. Uh, and then we're talking about how to set up a site and get into affiliate programs. There's a lot of nitty gritty things in there. Then we're going into how to actually create a professional account on Pinterest and then optimizing your affiliate links, automating your posts um, and everything else that you need to know. All right, so let's start off with this section here talking about uh, finding a niche for Pinterest affiliate marketing. So I think when a lot of people think of Pinterest, they think of, you know, fashion or maybe home decor or like cooking, a lot of those uh, various different topics. And while those are really great uh, categories and niches that you can get into, they're also a bit flooded in my opinion. There's a lot of people who are posting, you know, things like fashion or apparel. Um, and so you can break into those categories and there is a bigger audience for them, but there's also more competition. So I suggest going through and thinking about the various different kind of like smaller topics that might not be as big, but still have potential viewers on them. So I'm going to give you an example here of when I set up a, a Pinterest account. Um, and the one that I'm going to target for this video is going to be one for gardening, right? There are millions of people who are interested in gardening. So that's just the one I'm going to use as an example. I also happen to love gardening and farming. And so uh, it's easy for me to create content around this because I already know a lot of it. I grew up growing tons of vegetables. Um, and so I'm also more passionate about it. So it's going to be easier for me to make content in this category. I really do suggest uh, picking a niche that you already have some level of knowledge on, or at the very least um, can get a little bit excited about it. Like me personally, I'm not going to do women's apparel because I'm a guy and I just don't really care about women's apparel, to be honest. Like, I don't know anything about it. I'm a guy. I'm probably not going to do that category because it's just not really my field. So pick a niche that is a little bit smaller. I really do recommend that. You don't have to go for gardening. I'm just using that as an example in this video. But go through all of your various different things that you like. It could be reading. It could be literally anything. It could be camping. Um, something that you really like and find that. Start with that one. Once you build it up, then you can branch into creating other Pinterest accounts and getting into a lot of other topics. But start with one niche to begin with. I also want to mention here, look, this is not a get rich quick thing. This is going to take likely it's going to take months to really get the ball rolling with this. So if you're expecting to make $20,000 this month, um, it's probably not going to happen. You are realistically probably going to make $0 this month and, you know, maybe hundred bucks next month. And then months and months, months later, next thing, you know, two years later, you're making 20 grand a month. Can't promise that, but we've definitely seen it happen on this platform. So don't think you're going to become a millionaire overnight. Just want to make that very, very clear. Um, and people do fail at this, but the beauty of affiliate marketing, uh, especially on Pinterest is that, and if you're not paying for an online course, there's really nothing to lose. Like you're not spending lots of money to get started with this. So it's kind of like a very hard to actually lose 
uh, when choosing this business. So pick a niche. For this one, I'm going to uh, just come up with a random brand name. I'm going to call it uh, Harvest Haven Gardening for All, right? And so I'm going to be posting a lot of gardening content, and I'll show you the products I'm going to promote in that, but that's going to be my niche that I choose. So now let's talk about finding products to promote on Pinterest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with thinking of products before I even make the content so that I can kind of build the content around the products that I want to promote, right? And so how do we find um, products that we can promote in the gardening niche, right? Um, there's a couple of different things we can do. The easiest one is to start off with something called Amazon Associates. So Amazon Associates, uh, basically you can link to any product on Amazon and you will get a commission as an affiliate marketer for sending people to that product on Amazon. And anytime someone purchases something on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking on your special Amazon affiliate link, you are going to get a small percentage, somewhere between one and I think like 8%. I'll throw up the board here, uh, the fee schedule on how much you can make for all these various different niches. You will get paid by Amazon for promoting products on Amazon, right? And so uh, it's called Amazon Associates. I'll leave a link to uh, the page to sign up for Amazon Associates on. But before you actually create an account on Amazon Associates and you can start being an affiliate marketer with Amazon, uh, you need to have a website and you have to have basically a professional brand. Like when you apply for it, they're going to ask, what's your website? Um, they want to see that you're legitimate. They want to make sure that you're not just like some random person like posting Amazon affiliate links and like comment sections and stuff. Um, and so in order to become an Amazon associate, we need to make a site. So let me just show you how to do that super quickly here. What we can do is we can create a site using Squarespace. So I will leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, you can just go to centralmedia.com slash Squarespace as well. Um, this is an affiliate link, by the way, so it helps support the channel. Okay, so once you have your brand name picked out, uh, then we're just going to go over to Squarespace. Um, we're going to get started here, and then we're going to just create a very basic site. You can do this in 30 minutes or less uh, on Squarespace. Um, so let me just go through this process here. We can uh, you know, decide that um, our site is about uh, gardening, right? And our goals, um, it's going to be mostly a blog. So you're going to want to build a blog around this as well. Even if you're mostly doing affiliate marketing on Pinterest, you still want to have a site here so that you can get into the affiliate programs. You know, maybe um, my goal on this site is to uh, publish a blog or other media. And then we can either build a custom template with the Squarespace Blueprint, or we can choose one that's basically already designed for us. So let's just say we want to do that and click finish here. And now, like, it, we're already almost set up here. Let's say that we want to go with um, this one here looks pretty good. So we can just start with this and then we can create an account, start filling out this site. Um, I don't want to go through this whole thing. We have a full tutorial on Squarespace showing you how to set up that site, but I really do recommend that before you try to apply for these affiliate programs is to have that website set up. Okay. Um, and I'll leave a link to that down below for Squarespace that you can get started on um, building that site. It's definitely the best platform for building a site because it's super easy. Look, it's going to cost you a little bit of money to set up a Squarespace site. I think it's like, you know, 20 bucks a month or something. That's kind of like the only cost that's really incurred with this affiliate marketing business. But you have to realize that like in any affiliate marketing business, you need to build a brand around this. You don't want to just be like a person promoting products. You want to be a brand where people look at this and they say, this is, this is a full, you know, gardening and farming brand that I can trust. And so having that, you know, getting all the different social medias as well, when you create your Pinterest account is important. So you create your Pinterest account with like, let's say it's uh, what is this Harvest Haven. I'm also going to grab the Instagram handle. I'm going to grab the Twitter handle, uh, all the other social platform handles as well, like Facebook and the domain for that. So go ahead and do that. Once you set up your website, then we can go over to Amazon Associates. Like I said, I'll leave a link to Amazon Associates down below in the description. And then we can see all the different products that we can promote on the platform. Now here is the Amazon fee schedule. So uh, with a lot of gardening things, like if we're promoting say like seeds or other different types of like, um, like a shovel or, uh, you know, different like thing like soil for planting various different things. Um, the fee schedule, we're getting up to 8% commission for people buying these products, right? So like if, if we have a pin that we have on Pinterest and maybe it's about like the 10 best tomato strains that you can grow and it's in this category and let's say that someone spends $100 on tomato seeds, we're going to make $8 as a commission for just sending people over to Amazon. Um, Lawn Garden is actually kind of a higher one here. I don't want to like push everyone into doing like gardening 
uh, Pinterest, but I'm just saying it does have higher uh, rates for that category versus something like, you know, maybe like video games is 1% and everything else tends to be 4%. So that's just something that you want to look at is the Amazon fee schedule, um, which I'll try to link that down below as well, or just, you know, throw it up here so that you can get a good look at it. All right. Now, if you also uh, want to branch outside of Amazon Associates, uh, you'll actually learn that most companies, most products have affiliate programs. They might not always be on Amazon. So the best thing that you can do is for your niche, just go to Google. It's this simple. Go to Google, right? And just type in best gardening affiliate programs. And there's a lot of websites on this. So you need to do this for your specific niche. Just go to Google, type this in, see what pops up here. And you'll find a bunch of different, you know, potential programs here that you can uh, promote. And sometimes they have much higher commissions than on Amazon. Like I said, Amazon really only goes up to like 10% commission. Some of these though might end up paying a lot more in commissions. Like this one here pays 25%. Um, some of these are going to pay even more than that 10% on this one from this nursery. Um, so this is really cool to do this. Okay. So you don't have to just go with Amazon. Now let's just review what we've just done and then get into actually creating our Pinterest account and setting it up and thinking about boards and pins and everything else. But what you have to do, create your website, apply to affiliate programs, you know, with your website so they can see that you are legitimate and they'll let you into their affiliate programs. Now that you've done that, the next step is going to actually be starting to create content on Pinterest. So let me show you how to do that now and some of the best strategies for doing this. Okay. So let's go over to Pinterest and I'm assuming that you already have an account. If not, you can just go through very quickly sign up. But what you want to do is make sure that you convert your account to a business account on Pinterest. This is going to help with various different things like analytics and then also just using links and everything else. So you want to convert this to a business account because you're going to have ads manager, but really insights and analytics is going to be very nice to have for us. So I'm going to just click on upgrade here. It's totally free to upgrade to a business account. They're going to ask you a couple of questions here. Basically, you know, what is your business? It just helps them to understand uh, what you're doing. You can say content creator or publisher or really any of these, but I'm going to say that uh, we are publisher or media because really my goal here is to build a media company around gardening, right? So let's just put this in here. So business name is Harvest Haven. And then for domain, I wasn't able to get harvesthaven.com. So I had to go with um, harvesthaven.com blog. And I do recommend getting .com. I'm just using this as an example here in this video because I just randomly came up with this name and then I'm going to click on next and then just, you know, decide your business goals. I'm just going to kind of breeze through this here because this is not super important when setting up your business account. So let's kind of just move ahead here to when we get into the actual business account. Okay. So this is what our uh, Pinterest account looks like right now. So we need to get graphics. We need to get a profile photo, a logo, everything else, um, and then start making pins. What I would say just doing is go over to Canva uh, Canva is free. Um, I will also leave a link to Canva down below in the description. It's free. They have a paid version as well, but you can get away with just using the free version. So let's just log into Canva here. Um, and this is where we're going to create a logo. This is where, where we're going to create um, all of our content. Uh, and you'll actually notice once you get into Canva, like a lot of Pinterest posts are actually, they use Canva as well. You'll notice like the templates and stuff. Um, so I'm just logging in here to Canva and on Canva, they actually have things specifically for Pinterest. Okay. So if we just go to, and we type in Pinterest, right. And we can uh, make boards, we can make all kinds of things. We just click on that. And here we go. Here's all these different pins and boards that we can make on Pinterest. But actually what I need to do first is we need to make a logo. So just type in logo here and we can decide from all these different ones, you know, uh, let's find one that kind of looks like it would work well for our brand. I kind of like this one here. Looks very simple. We can use this template. This one costs money. Okay. So here's one that I like. I'm just going to click on customize this and then I'm just going to create our basic logo here, right? So uh, let's just, you know, overwrite this here and call it Harvest Haven. And um, what was our tagline? It was going to be uh, gardening for all, right? And then we can change this up a little bit, right? So we can change this to an H maybe, and maybe we want to change this as well. But you know what, for this, we're just going to go with this. It looks good enough for me. This is just an example tutorial here. Um, I'd probably spend more time on it if I was, you know, wanted to actually uh, build this seriously. So uh, I'm just going to then download it here. I'm going to download this logo. Make sure you save it as a PNG click download. All right, so we're going to edit our profile and we can change our logo. 
to Harvest Haven. And then in our about page, uh, in this section, we can write uh, uh, basically what we're doing. Feel free to even like, if you need some ideas, just have ChatGPT help you out here. But we can say, you know, maybe it's like um, gardening content for everyone. Good enough uh, for there. Change up our username as well, right? And add in other info if you would like. All right, then we go back to our account and we need to create a banner here. So we can just do this as well from Canva. So let's go back to Canva. Uh, we can create this Pinterest banner. So um, let's just go back to home. Let me create this banner super quickly. Okay, so here's just a quick banner that I made. Let me just download this as a PNG. Go back to Pinterest, upload the banner. And you know, you can spend a lot more time actually designing this than I am for this tutorial. But now that we have this set up, uh, we can also add in our See, this is why it's important to have a Squarespace website so that people can be directed to your blog. You can also do like a link in bio thing here. Uh, Squarespace has the link in bio feature when you create a website. So you can just have this directly go to your affiliate links. You can have like a whole page of like my favorite products, everything like that. You can also use things like Linktree or Beacons or some of those other link in bio platforms for putting your link in here. But this is important because you're gonna get a lot of clicks through your home page link that you have, okay? So now that we've done all of this, now we can start creating boards and creating pins. Now, what I suggest doing is creating at least a dozen different boards, each with 20 to 30 pins inside of those boards. Um, this is a great way to get started here. Uh, something that is important in terms of Pinterest content is when you create a new account, you gotta be careful, like you don't wanna overdo it. Like if you're making a thousand pins per day, uh, it kind of throws up a flag for Pinterest where they're like, is this person spamming? Are they just throwing tons of stuff out there? And it can get a little bit weird. I've seen people get kind of essentially shadow banned on Pinterest. There's like kind of a lot of disputes on this, but if you're just posting too much immediately, it can get a little bit weird. So be careful on that. You know, start slow, start with, you know, a board, two boards, uh, a handful of pins, and then kind of ramp it up over time. Like I said earlier, you're not going to make a million dollars overnight from doing this. It's going to take time to build up. So have some patience. I've had people reach out and be like, why am I not making money? I've been doing this for for two weeks already. It's like, okay, well, uh, try doing it for two years. Quite literally, you know, this can take time, okay? Um, and so now that we have all of this set up, we have our website set up, we're in affiliate programs, we have this ready to go. Now we can start to make those boards and make those pins. And so let's go ahead and make our first one here and I'll show you how I would go about doing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our first pin here. So I'm gonna click on create pin. You can obviously do this on your phone as well. You don't have to do this on your laptop. Um, I'm just doing it here so you can see a bigger screen for this tutorial. Uh, we have to go and create a pin. I'm gonna do this uh, on Canva. I'm gonna make some pins. So let's go back here. Um, let's type in Pinterest and we can choose from this. Uh, maybe for example, we want one that is, um, now this one we have to pay for. I do recommend just getting Canva Pro if you're serious about this. It's not that expensive um, and it's going to be worth it. It's like an investment into your own business. But let's say that we wanted to just go for this one here and we can customize this template. And our first pin is gonna be best tomato strains, right? best varieties of tomatoes um, and so let's see so these are templates uh, we can also look for elements or photos as well so so tomatoes let's look at some photos here if they have any uh, you can also upload photos as well um, but let's say that you know uh, which ones do we like here okay so I'm just over on Google I am saving an image uh, make sure that these are you know non copyrighted photos that you're using you don't want to have any issues with um, you know companies or people if you are using their photos without asking them or getting permission um, but we can replace this here right so I can upload a photo of these tomatoes here Drop that on there, fit it properly. We can crop this here. And then it can be five best, five best tomato varieties. Might need to add something in the background, change the color of it perhaps to like something much lighter move it over a little bit. And so this might take some time, but the beauty of this and why like uh, affiliate marketing on Pinterest is that uh, you can outsource this as well. So like once it starts to grow and you start to make money, you can hire someone to make these pins for you so that you don't really have to do much, right? So let me just change up the, the, the text color on this, let's make it like that. And there we go. That can be our first pin right there. So let's just uh, download this. All right, so we import that. And um, now uh, we have to create a title description. We can add our affiliate link or a link to our blog post and then choose a board as well and some tags. So uh, we're just gonna match uh, the thing here. So, and what I do suggest doing is you want to basically do some keyword stuffing in here. So you wanna fill out the description uh, as much as possible. Same with the title. You want to really keyload stuff, the keyword stuff in here. Um, because now if we have our description, we say, you know, uh, best tomatoes 
Okay, and so now, because I filled out this description, anytime someone's searching on Pinterest for maybe tomato strains or, you know, homesteader um, or hardy tomatoes, it's going to pop up or it should at least help us uh, better rank for a lot of these terms because at the end of the day, Pinterest really kind of is a search engine. So people search for things all the time. And so you want to make sure that you fill out a lot of these words here um, in your description and in your title. Now, for link, this is important here. Pinterest doesn't like when you cloak links. So, um, you know, if you use like Bitly or something, you want to be careful with that. Um, I've seen people get their accounts banned because they were cloaking their links. So now what we can do is we can either add our blog article to this or we can add our specific affiliate link. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the long game. I'm going to add our a, a link to our blog article um, from harvesthaven.blog uh, with a full article on the best tomato varieties and everything that the people want to learn about it, right? Um, so I'm going to add a link there and then choose a board to put it on so we can create a board here. And for this, it can be maybe um, literally tomatoes, right? Or vegetables. Let's call it vegetables. Create that board and then add some tags here as well. So tomatoes, farmhouse, maybe vegetable garden, right? So add some tags on there. Um, and then we can also publish at a later date if we would like to. And then we can allow people to comment. We can show some more products. This is up to you here, but then we can publish it. And there we go. We've just created our first pin. Um, and that's the name of the game. Uh, I can make a more in-depth tutorial if you would like for Pinterest. Um, but this is how you get started. And then I also suggest not reinventing the wheel. So go and look at what other people are doing. And a lot of these like other pins for tomatoes, for example, are also doing affiliate marketing or they're selling their own products, right? So like the best tomatoes to grow on a patio. Let's click on this. Let's see what they've done here. And you can kind of borrow from other people's ideas. I'm not, don't copy anyone. Don't like use anything word for word, but you can look at what other pins are doing. You can see like how these other Pinterest accounts are performing, right? So they have the, the best tomatoes to grow on a patio and you can go to their website. You can see what they do, right? And they have this whole article and what does it do? It probably they're funneling you into buying products, right? Here's a product link right here takes us to Amazon, they are making an affiliate commission on this. So that's that's how you do it. This, this is the name of the game. Uh, you can really make quite literally thousands of dollars per month by using this strategy on Pinterest. So that's how you do it. Um, I hope you found some value in this. If you have any questions, you have any uh, issues, feel free to either DM me on Instagram. I'll try to respond. I, I can't promise, but I'll really try. And also, you know, leave some comments down below in the comment section on your thoughts, on some ideas, anything else uh, that you would like to chat about. I'll try to keep up with the comments uh, as much as possible. So thanks for watching. I hope you found value in this video and I'll see everybody sometime in a future video.